Hello everyone, welcome to lab 8.6.7 from DivNet Associate course from Cisco. This lab is about dealing with WebEx. This is the WebEx application. If you don't know it, it's a platform like Microsoft Teams or Zoom. And in this lab, we are going to create rooms and manage people in this platform. But of course, we are going to use Python with APIs. So we are not going to use the graphical user interface here. From this application, we are going to create everything based on API. Okay, so let's get started. First, we need to start the virtual machine, this one in the background, because the files are there, and as you will see in a couple of minutes. And the first, we need also to log in and explore the WebEx application or API documentations. So let's do this together. So let's go for, for this URL and open it. And here you need to log in. After I logged in, I now need to go to check some API application uh, documentation. So as you can see here, we have under documentations, check API references. And here we have some APIs. Let's check, for example, for people. And here we have APIs that we can use then. So here we have an API for listing people, here create a person, get person details, update person, and delete person, and so on. And let's check more about rooms. Here we have also APIs about rooms, how to list rooms, and so on. Also we have about memberships. And messaging. Here we have memberships and here we have messages. These are the APIs and of course we can see the messages here. So we are going to use them in this lab. Okay so let's keep going and now we need to get your access token and to get your access token you can Navigate here, get started, and here, this is your personal token access. You can make copy here. And what we also need, then we need to test your access token. And to test your access token, you can go to people API. As you can see here, it's mentioned under API references, click people, and then click my own detail or get my own details. So API references, we are going to people again here and then get my own details. You can click on this API and here you can see the information about your own details. As you can see, I cannot find here the run or try it, so I switch to Microsoft Windows, and here I'm using the Explorer there, and let's try it here. So we need API references, we need to go to people, and from people, we need to get webex.com, and here we have try it. And as you can see here, we have the get, this is the URL or the API. So let's try to get run. And here we have responses and here we have requests. And then we have the request here. This is the URL that we need. Okay, so as you can see here, I couldn't find the right under 
the Linux or the browser and the virtual image. However, so we tested our token and now we are going to use Python to test our token. Okay, we have our token already. We copy we copied it from the website. Okay, so let's do this. And now we need to open Visual Studio. Here open folder. Webex teams. And here we will have the files that we are going to work with them. Here we have all the files. Okay, so let's check first the authentication. And of course, we need to put our token. And then let's save it. And from the terminal, let's get it run. And as you can see here, we have here the token successfully implemented. Let's see the output here, if it's okay. So here we have the email address. Here we have the type person. Let's check it one more time. And here we have a private person. So that's quite good. Let's move forward. And now we are, we are going to manage people in WebEx team of course by using Python okay so what we are going to do first we need to go to navigate again to the API uh, documentation and list the detail of the registered WebEx user so we already did this we check the APIs about all people and then method and then list people there so I'm, do, I'm going to do it here one more time API references here we go to people and here we list people and you can see here this is the get this is the API that we are going to use it's already given in the, the tutorial so we only, we only need to put your token here and of course we put your email here okay so let's do this also and here we need to modify the file list people.python make sure to put them in one line and here I'm going to change my email and I put my email here And here we have the request and here we are going to print the output so let's save this file and of course as you know I'm going to run this file from the command line interface not from here so let's do this again together as you already know and here right click open a new terminal as you can see here now I can have my screen to only run the code and I can modify the code through Visual Studio okay I need to put my token first here and here we need to put this now it's quite good so let's save it again and now much easier I can just run it from here and as you can see here there is my nickname and here my information we only need to take the ID from this screen so because we are going to use it in the next step so my ID here is this one okay let's move forward and now we are going to list additional administrative details for a person not going to do this 
um, step here but what you need to do is only to copy this code to here to this file list people and also don't forget you need to change previous ID here this is the output you have got it from here so this is the ID here you need to change it to this one okay and then save and run you will get the output here as similar to this one okay so in five we are going to manage rooms in webex teams okay so let's check the ipi uh, of rooms so we are going again here api references and then let's go to rooms and here we have the api for list rooms create rooms and get room details and so on so here we all about the apis you can of course click any of them to get more information however so what we are going to do actually we are going to modify the file and the file is list rooms and we put this code in it and that of course we need to change the token here okay so let's do this together here they should be in the same line or of course you can manage the spaces i'm going to put them in the same line because it's much faster and of course we need to put our token then let's save it and list rooms let's get it run and as you can see here we have all the information about the details okay which is similar here to the output there as you can see here we we have here the owner id and you can see here this is the owner id Okay, so let's keep going. And now we are going to investigate the API detail documentation for posting to the rooms API. So I already did this. You can, of course, here check that more about room or how to get the APIs of the rooms. Okay, so we now are going to use Python script to create a room. Of course, we also have a file. We need to only put the code in it. And here we have created the room in Python. Here we can see the output here is similar. Okay, we also need the owner ID or the room ID, this one. To the next step and now we are going to use python script to get room details we are using this code here again in a file room details so then we put this code and we change the token and we have to change to your room id which is sim which is we can get from here which is this one okay i'm not going to do this step but of course you are free to do it and then in the in part six we are going to manage memberships and webex teams again we can locate the API so let's do this together and here we have the APIs for it and here list memberships create a membership and get membership details and so on what we need to do actually we also need to modify a file which is list memberships.python and we put this code in it and here you need your room ID as well So here you can put your token, here you put your room ID. I'm not also going to do this step, but of course you can do it your own. And in step three and step four, here we look at and investigate the API documentation for posting to a membership uh, ships API. And of course we did this here together. this one here 
and of course we need to change the file with the following information we just you just need to copy paste them to your machine and then get it run and in part 7 we also need to manage messages in webx team here we need to go to the message api in the website and here we have again the apis about each of them and then you need to change the content of the file grade markdown messages.python you put the code in it don't forget you need to put your own token here you need also your id room which is this one in my case of course you can you will have another one and then you will get it run so the goal behind this lab is to show you that how you can create a code to replace the way that you can do using the graphical user interface and of course here you can create many people in one bit or small lines of code and this of course saves time and energy thank you very much for your attention and if you have any question or questions please send them by email or bring them to me to the lab